In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to change the background color of your JavaFX window. Now, there are two ways of doing this. We can either directly change the color of the scene, or we can change the colors of the layouts within the scene. All right, so let's take a look at this and how it's possible and different ways of setting the color using pre-built colors or using uh, simple blue, yellow, red strings or using hexadecimal colors. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing we'll do is try and change the color of our scene. Okay, so here's our scene. I'm going to do set fill. All right, now here we can pass in a color. Okay, there are many different ways, uh, many different ways we can use this. All right, these are all the colors that are available. And as you can see, there is a lot of variety in here. Okay, let's go with medium purple. And now if I run our code, we get this purple window. It was just that simple. All right, but in case you want to use your own colors, all right, let's say you want to use blue. I mean, you could just do blue over here, but let's say you want a specific shade of blue. So then you would do something like this, right? Uh, you could do dot web, color dot web over here. And then as a string, you would pass in over here like FF, wait, RGB. Okay. So like this. And let's run this code now. And I think this may require double quotes. Let's try that. Okay, cool. And if I run this now, we get blue. Now we can obviously tone this blue down to like 6-6 six, six or something, and we can get different colors. We get a much darker blue, and obviously you can go online and to any decent color picker and pick your own shade of blue from there, copy paste the hexadecimal code, and you'll get your color. Okay, so this is how you can uh, use hexadecimal colors. All right, or you can, I think this might work. You just do yellow or something. All right, I guess not. Um, okay, so let's take a look at how to do this for layouts. Now, again, it's pretty similar, and we always have one main layout, right? So as long as you do that, as long as you change the color of the main layout, it's basically going to be the same thing as changing the color of the scene. But the advantage with layouts is that we can actually change the color of nested layouts. So if you want to make like the left side of your screen blue, you can do that by, you know, nesting two layouts within a layout and then making both layouts take half the screen and then just change the color of one of them. So that's how this works. But the way of changing the color is a bit different. Okay. We don't use set fill. We use set style. Okay. And then we do it like this FX background color. And then we do something like blue run and there we go. Blue. Okay, and again, you can pass in colors in here to change the color. Okay, the interesting thing here is that you can just directly change uh, this to some hexadecimal code. All right, you don't need to use a separate function or, well, you don't need to use a separate method of doing it. Okay, it's the same thing. Just replace the color here with a hexadecimal code and you're good to go. So that's how you can change the background color for layouts. Now let's just quickly show you one example where we nest a layout within a layout. Okay, just to, you know, prove this concept. And now I'll create a button. Okay, I need to create a button to place within our sub layout. Otherwise, it's basically going to be size zero, right? Now we need to actually make sure everything is added in correctly. Okay, we need to add, sorry, get children. Okay, dot add. We're basically going to add the sub layout in here. Okay, and then we need to add the button in our sub layout as well. Okay, this what we did here is add the sub layout in the main layout. Now we need to add the button in the sub layout. Now we could do the same thing. We could do this, but a uh, pretty easy way of doing this is just to do this. Okay, we have the padding here. And we have the, uh, you know, widget, the component that's going to go inside the sub layout in there. Okay. It's a pretty shorthand way of doing it. Okay. Both of these techniques work. Now I'm going to run this code and there we go. We get, uh, our color here, our background color, but we don't know where our sub layout is because 
you know, there's no color. We didn't give the sub layout a color, right? So let's do that. Sub layout dot set style. And let's give it the color red. Copy paste this. Okay. And change this to red and run this. And there we go. So this is just what I wanted to show you that we now have two colors in here. Now you guys can go around and mess around with this however you like, make different combinations of layouts and then change the colors accordingly. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.